the location of points in surveying stern bus stationing with a particular format for the points. In SI units, the station 1 plus 500 would mean 1,500 meters away from a certain origin. Learn the procedure of identifying points in the curve here in Engineering Surveys. In case PC is known, station of the point of intersection PI can be determined by adding the distance of the back tangent T1. In case we are to find the station of PT from PC, all you need to do is to add the length of the curve L. If station PT is known, the location of the preceding stations will be as follows. In case we are looking for a station of PC, subtract the length of curve from station PT. In case we are to locate the station of vertex or point of intersection PI, still start with the given station PT. Identify station PC first by subtracting the length of curve, and then add the back tangent distance T to reach station PI. Although geometrically speaking, PI can be computed as station PT less the forward tangent, we do not use the forward tangent in stationing. Let's do stationing in an example from the previous video. The offset distance of the simple curve from the PT to the back tangent is equal to 150 meters. PC is stationed at 2 plus 100 meters. The simple curve has a central angle of 50 degrees. Locate station PI and locate station PT. The distance of PC and PI is described by the tangent distance. So solve T first and again by taking the right triangle from the offset, we get T as 150 sine 50 degrees, which then turns as 114.91 meters. We can then proceed to the station of PI from station PC, which is 2 plus 100 and add T, which is 114.91 meters, which is then 2 plus 214.91 meters, and that is station PI. For station PT, we need to identify the length of curve, which is L is equal to delta R times the conversion to pi all over 360 degrees, but we do not have R yet. So from the computed value of t, we can integrate it with the standard formula r tangent of delta all over 2. So r is then computed as 246.43 meters. So by learning the value of r, we can solve l by using delta of 50 degrees and r of 246.43 meters. And the length of the curve comes out as 215.05 meters. Now start from station PC which is 2 plus 100 meters and add L which is 215.05 meters which gives 2 plus 315.05 meters and this is station PT. The second example shows locating station from PT. It states the perpendicular offset distance from the apex of the simple curve to point Q on the tangent line is 64 meters. If the distance between PC and Q is 260 meters, locate PC if station PT is 4 plus 550 and also locate PI. From the triangle generated by the tangent and the perpendicular offset, we can identify theta, which is taken trigonometrically as tangent of theta is equal to 64 all over 260, which shows that theta is 13 degrees 49.9 minutes. The angle theta generated in the small triangle is actually a part of that from the center and it is half of it. Use trigonometry to prove this on your own. Now take the bigger triangle produced when the 64 meter offset is projected on the radius near PC. This time we get the sides 260, R and R less 64. 
the angles would be 90 degrees and 2 theta, which is 27 degrees and 40 minutes. Now we can solve for the radius by taking the cosine of 2 theta, which is r less 64 all over r, then r is solved as 560.13 meters. With the radius and theta already figured out, we can compute for the length of curve from the equation L is equal to delta R with our conversion 2 pi all over 360 degrees. So place the values to arrive at 540.62 meters. Then we can identify station PC from here, originating at station PT designated as 4 plus 550 Subtract the length of the curves computed as 540.62 meters, and their difference is 4 plus 9.38 meters, which is station PC. Let's determine station PI next. With PT and PC already known, solve for tangent to reach station PI. And with the formula T is equal to R times tangent of half of delta, the tangent distance is computed as 293.55 meters. So in case we start from the given station PT of 4 plus 550, we subtract L, which is 540.62 meters, giving station PC of 4 plus 9.38 meters, and then add the back tangent distance of 293.55 to get station PI of 4 plus 302.93 meters. Let's check if we can use the forward tangent. So from station PT, subtract the forward tangent, which is equal to 293.55 and the outcome, which is supposed to be station PI, is 4 plus 256.45, which has a great discrepancy from the true station PI. Mm -hmm.